আউজ বিল্লাহ মিনা শৈতিম বিসমিল্লাহমান ইব্রাহিম এট ফার্স্ট আই উড লাইক টু থ্যাঙ্ক মিস্টার স্যামুয়েল বিবেস ফর দিস ওয়ান্ডারফুল ভয়েস ওভার The devil was not an angel, but he was one of the jinns. And in Islam, we don't blame the womankind for the reason why we are sent on this earth. Even though the scholars have difference in opinion as to whether both of them ate together or any one of them ate before another, there is no room of doubt that it was the devil who actually influenced to eat from the tree. The story from the Quran and authentic hadith is as follows. Iblis was a great worshipper of Allah, so he was raised up to the level that he was allowed to worship along with the angels. Iblis was not an angel, rather he was a religious jinn. In the conventional story where he was an angel named Azazel, or the fallen angel has been proven to be wrong by the Quran. Angels are created from light. Jinns are created from smokeless fire and human from clay or mud. Jinn kind is however created before mankind. Probably we all know that. At first, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam alaihi wa salam and later on Hawa radi Allahu anha was created. Once Iblis was commanded to prostrate before Adam just to show respect, not to worship. All the worship is for Allah alone and no one else. But Iblis refused to follow the order of Allah due to his arrogance and converted to shaitan the accursed one when iblis was asked the reason why he refused to prostrate he replied i am better than him you created me from fire and created him from clay another important point to note is that angels can never disobey allah allah then allowed adam and hawa to live in paradise they were permitted to enjoy everything except one thing a for They were prohibited to go near and eat from a forbidden tree. Adam and Hawa knew that they were forbidden to eat from the tree. Adam was however a human and human hearts are weak which forgets and changes. Iblis preoccupied with his jealousy took advantage of Adam's humanity to exploit him. He started to whisper him day after day coaxing him, "Shall I guide you to the tree of immortality and the eternal kingdom?" He continued deceiving saying to them your lord did not forbid you this tree but it will save you making you angels or immortals and satan swore by allah to them both saying verily i am one of the sincere well-wishers for both of you shaitan was able to tempt both of them to eat from the tree and both of them ate from the forbidden tree the quran always mentions about both of them Hence Adam and Hawa accepted their fault. However, Iblis blamed Allah for the whole incident. He requested Allah to be exempt him to live till the day of resurrection and promised Allah to mislead humanity to astray. He was allowed to live till the end of the world. He added, he will mislead human in such a way that disobedience to Allah will look attractive to them. Allah then sent 3 of them to earth. to live there for a certain period of time and after that they shall die and will be resurrected back again this period of time will be a test for humanity until this part of the story some crucial events seem to be missing that you all probably know even i used to know that where is that event where hawa was nagging and forcing adam to eat from the tree now let's analyze the biblical point of view according to 1 timothy Chapter 2 verse 14 through 15 And Adam was not deceived, deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Women, however, will be saved through childbearing if they continue in faith, love and holiness with self-control. According to Genesis 3, chapter 3, the whole story in this chapter is as follows. In short, it mentions that there was a snake in the heaven which asked Eve that is hawa is there any tree that the god forbade to eat from she replied yes we are not allowed to touch any fruit from only one tree in the middle of the garden or else we will die the snake told that you won't die rather your eyes will be opened and you will be like god who knows what is good and what is evil so eve looked at the fruit and found it tempting 
and Eve ate from it, and also gave some to her husband Adam. They found themselves naked, and tried to hide themselves with the leaves of the garden. They then heard the sound of God walking in the garden, whilst they were hiding themselves. God called them, Where are you? Adam replied that he was hiding from God, as he was naked. So God asked them whether they had ate from the tree, and Adam said, Eve gave him some of the fruit to eat. So God said to Eve, What have you done? And she replied that the snake deceived her to eat. So God cursed the snake, that it will crawl on its belly and will eat dust. It will be enemy of the woman and their offspring. Snake will strike human's heel and human will crush its head. Then God said to Eve, I'll greatly increase the pain and labor of your childbearing and childbirth. Your desire will be for your husband, yet he will rule over you. And lastly, then God said to Adam, Because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the restricted tree, the ground is cursed and you will have to struggle from the scratch for the whole life to eat from it, until you are dead and converted into dust as you were made from it, that is dust. So, according to the Bible, Eve was tempted by the serpent to eat of the forbidden tree. She ate it, listening to the snake, and fed Adam some of it. This story is found to be a falsification when we look at the ayats of the Quran. There is nowhere in the Quran where such blame was imposed upon Hawa alone. If it was as such, then it should be there in the Quran. Even in the story of Adam by Ibn Kathir Ra Matula mentions that he was the first to pluck the fruit from the tree and then shared it with his wife. Quran reminds us the story of Adam, Hawa, and Iblis multiple times in order to warn us regarding the below mentioned facts. Begin. How did all these begin? How did we came in this earth? Why are we here and what is our actual purpose of our life? Who is our actual enemy and what is his actual purpose? Who is our maker and how did he make us and protecting us till now? Lastly, it helps us to realize that following shaitan, we actually harm ourselves, so we should continuously seek the help of our maker to save ourselves from the devil. Another important point is that if someone just compares these holy scriptures side by side, then he will easily understand that the Bible should be longer in the line with the Injil than we believe, and the most logical and convincing stories of the prophets, including the history of human evolution, is only found in the Islam and nowhere else. What is your opinion? Let us know in the comment section below and if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thanks.